Welcome back everyone. In the last video, I have discussed about flutter block design pattern and I have also discussed that state, event and block are the three major building blocks for the block design pattern. In this video, I will discuss how to create the state, event and block. Here I have created this project counter app. I have run the project and we are getting output like this. If I click on this plus, then you can see the counter value is incrementing. This has been implemented with the help of set state. I will change it to block later on. Now, in the pubspec.yml file, here I have taken the latest dependency of Flutter block, which is 8.1.3. Now, inside the leaf folder, I will create a new folder named as block. Inside this folder, first of all, I will create the state. So, right click new file and the file name is counter state. Here I will create a class counter state and inside this class I will create a variable named as count. After that I will create the constructor and to this constructor I will pass required this dot count. So our counter state class has been created. Now next we need to create the event. Now what type of event? As I discussed that whenever I will click on this plus, then the value should increment by one. So we need to create a counter increment event. And to do that here, I will create a new file named as counter event. And here I will create a class counter increment event. And that's it. Our event class has been created. Now next we need to create the block. So right click here, new file and I will create a file named as counter block. Now in this file, I will create a class named as counter block and to make it as block, we need to extend from block and we need to import the package. To do that here, I will import the flutter block package. Now, if I hover to block, then you can see that this block is expecting a event and a state. So to this block, we need to pass the event, the event which we have created that is counter increment event. And next it will take the state, the state which we have created that is counter state. Now this is generating error. What error it is generating? It is saying the superclass block does not have a zero argument constructor. Try de declaring a zero argument constructor. So if I go to this block, then you can see that this block constructor is taking the state that is the initial state. So here also we need to pass the initial state and to do so here, I will create the constructor and to this constructor here I will use super and to this super we need to pass the initial state that is counter state and to this count we will pass the initial value as 0. Now in this counter block class we need to write the logic to increment the value of this count by one whenever the user clicks on this plus. This means we need to update the state whenever this plus button will be clicked and to do so in the body of the constructor here we need to use on and in this on we need to specify the event which event counter increment event and you can see this on is taking or giving us two parameters event and emit this event is of type counter increment event and this emit is of type emitter which is generating the counter state now with the help of this emit we need to update the state with the new value and to do so here we will use emit and we will use counter state and here I need to pass the updated state. This means the current count value will be incremented by one. 
that's it this means whenever counter increment event will be generated it will emit the counter state with the updated value this means the current value of count will be incremented by 1 and that updated value will be emitted this means the state has been changed and whenever the state is changed at that time we need to rebuild the ui now how that will be done that i will discuss in the next video that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching